what I want to show you is how to get to my open mat. So I'm going to put this in student view. When you click on right this link, it says basically at the top says my open mat, access your online homework, no need for course ID because I put that there because there have been emails asking for that. And I think it's very obvious. There's no need. So what do you do? You click on it. You either have an account with mom, my open mat, or you don't. If you do, you use your username and password, you sign in, you're there. What if you don't? You just create an account, enter a username, password, just like the usual one. So I'm going to assume everybody can do that. So basically, you click on the very top module and you start registering. I'm going to go back. If I click on that again, it will ask me for registration. So if I have registered, it won't. So I'm going to change this from the student view. And therefore, if I click on it, it gives me access to the course. This is mom or my open map. So let's see how this thing is going to work. So you're here in my open math. At the very top, you see exams. And the reason I put it at top, because in the past I've seen students having problem finding it, and they are all timed, they have due dates, and they are password protected. Then in the beginning, welcome to the statistics and probability. There is some legend explaining what each symbol stands for. The next one is a, what we call a calendar that shows what is due and when it's due. Notice the very first thing on Thursday, IA is introduction to my open mat. It's an introduction assignment, which tells you how to use my open mat. It's due in a couple of days. And then you see a bunch of homeworks and the exam one that takes place then and there. And then exam two and the rest of them. Now, what I want to make sure everybody understands, you see all the homework for the first exam is due the day before. Does it mean I have to wait until then to do the homework? Absolutely not. Because if you do, you will get behind and you will not be able to catch up. I expect you to do your homework on a daily basis. This is the only way to succeed in this course. So every day do a couple of sections. By the time we get to the exam time, it is not a big deal at all. So that's as far as the calendar. By the way, you have a choice. Over here, you see number four. You can click on it and you use more weeks or less weeks. It's your choice if you want to expand it or make it small. Now, note, follow the course by following modules in my open math and in Canvas. They cover the same topics. Do not pay attention to the number for the chapters as these chapter numbers may not agree in Canvas and in Mom. So I can't emphasize this enough. Just pay attention to the module. And the first exam is module one. So take a look. Module one, two, three, four, five. So what is module zero? That's what I want to discuss. In short, module zero consists of many, many resources for you. As it reads, text, gradebook, calendar, late pass, formulas, online calculators, so on and so forth. So module zero is just a bunch of resources with one exception. The exception is introduction to my open math assignments is here. It has to be done today because you really want to know how to deal with my open math. So I'm going to quickly show you when you click on introduction to my open math, the idea behind this is to show you how to input your information and mathematical symbols as you come across your homework assignments. Please do that. It doesn't take long but it is helpful. What I want to just add here, if you answer something, let's say here, notice I this is a simple number. I can put the numbers, but if I need to put mathematical symbols, it becomes available to me. The moment I click on that, I wanted to show you that. So for example, 79.89, Nine five five. So that's the answer. 
uh, let's say you can do the next one and the next one. Let's submit question just for the sake of argument. Notice the moment I submit that, it shows a check mark. I haven't made a mistake. I need to do more questions. If you say you're done, notice what happens. It brings you here. It shows that question one, we got a portion of it is right. The rest have to be must do. And questions two, all the way to the last one are unattempted. You can resume or exit. Module zero. So the first thing, as I mentioned, is introduction to my open math. Then you have the text. The text is a really a reference text. I stick with my own PowerPoints, but this is a good reference. You can always use it. And it shows various versions such as a PDF file or web format. And as you can see, we have the different chapters. You can search for a topic. If you click on this, it will take you to for more information about the text. So the text can be found under modules. Gradebook, calendar, late pass on and so forth. If you click on the gradebook, this is a short video, which takes maybe a couple of minutes explaining how the gradebook works. Same thing for calendar, same thing for how to use a late pass. I highly recommend you watch those. And this portion explains how to look up your own grade at any time. We have formula sheets here as well as in Canvas. I put a bunch of free online calculators. Take a look. I highly recommend you look at each and every one of them and see what works the best for you. Free online calculators. This is Statistic Calculator. This is Star Trek Calculator that does stats. Standard Deviation Calculator p-value calculator, and we have more online sources, a calculator such as Desmos, other external websites. Under module zero, we find a lot of resources. Please take a few minutes of your time, explore it, see what you can find there. The thing I wanna explain as far as the late pass is concerned, if you don't do the homework in a timely manner. You have a couple of days to do that. Using a late pass, you have to ask for a late pass. And I've made it available for the students. And you get, you receive 10 to 20% penalty. So you're not going to get full credit as those who do it on time. So this is module zero resources done. What about module one? And this is how everything is done. So we're going to go over one module and that will do the job. So if you look at module one, it starts with some explanation and objectives. It tells you where you can find the information in the text. And more importantly, these are the videos. And none of them is really long. So watch the videos. All of them are videos. And then you can do the homework. So again, this is section 1.1. After you do that, remember the process is that you go through the PowerPoints in mom, you go through the videos here and you start the homework. You can do section by section or chapter by chapter. Now you go to 1.2, the same thing. You have a bunch of videos. You've already watched the PowerPoints. You do the homework and so on and so forth. This is how you do the chapters. So, one section, section 1.1, you've looked at the PowerPoints, you've watched the videos here, you're ready to do the homework. And of course you have done introduction to my open math assignment. So you know how to input the information. So if you start, resume, so you answer a question and that's the idea behind this. There's really no limit as far as how long it takes you to do the work and if you have to redo it. So you answer the question, it says enter an integer or decimal. So political scientists surveys 26 of the current 110 representatives. So 110 represents the population. So they are asking for the sample here, 26. And the population is 110. And notice, before even I do that, I could watch the videos here. 
generally speaking, if you watch the videos, it will help you not only with this question, also with the rest of them. And again, some of them, they have key terms. Some of them, they have read this, watch the video, so on and so forth. So I submit the question and it check marks or it tells me it's wrong. And if it's wrong, I get a similar question to do that. And I go to the next example and the next example and the next example, and I say I'm done. However, before I do that, something comes up. I can't finish this. So I intend to come back to that. For now, I'm gonna click on done. Again, question one is done and the rest of them are unattempted. So when I come back to this, it lets me resume. Right now, I have a choice of resuming or exiting. So when I exit, it puts that grade in the grade book, the portion that I've received until I go back and finish it, or that would be the final grade for this assignment. So again, when you go to mom, after the calendar, you see module zero, spend some time on that to see what resources are available. After that, starting with module one, scroll down to the videos, watch the videos, and then do the homework section by section.